Hi, Liz. Good to see you. How are you? Hey, Luke. I'm fine, thanks. Well, you know, we've been busy. After our contest last year, we've been working hard to create a new game. Yes, sure. People liked, really liked the game. I remember we had some comments about more interactions and more business-oriented tasks in the game. Yeah, exactly. The first solo game was about setting up the master data for the company. Well, we've taken all this feedback and now we have a new version. And in this version, we have various business scenarios where you need to complete specific tasks in Odoo. It's really like working with your colleagues in a real company. That sounds great. Let me give a little background about our training concept and our offering. Ahula is a collaboration between Camp to Camp and the University of Science in Switzerland. We create engaging training solutions for higher education and business. To do this, we create serious games that increase motivation and effectiveness. Last year, we presented three different games where players manage a coffee company called La Rosteria. These games cover in a progressive way all the skills needed to manage a business process with Odoo. Exactly. In these games, we are a coffee company. Yeah. And we have to buy green coffee, we have to buy packaging, and then we can roast the coffee transform it like grind it, decaffeinate and so on and package the coffee. Once the, the, the coffee is packaged, we will sell it to our different kind of customers. Cool. What is really interesting in this approach is that it's not just about learning Odoo's interface. Mm -hmm. Here, we really design the games so that the participants can eventually master the business process and all the key decisions needed for the business process to work really well. During the last year, we have used these games extensively in our teaching at the University of Applied Sciences of Western Switzerland and at the University of Lausanne. In total, we use the games with about 180 students. Cool. Oops, <laughs> sorry. I forgot to mute some notifications. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's Noah! It seems that I have to change the price of my coffee, uh, coffee capsules. You know what? This is our new game. Players work individually on their computer okay. and virtual colleagues ask them to perform different tasks. Okay. So let's see an example. Once you are logged in the game, you will get chat messages. Here, we can see that Noah asks you to change the price of a product. Yeah. So here, our player, Jonas, goes in the sales app, and now he's looking for the product for which he needs to change the price. So he goes in the product menu, finds the correct product, and he can reduce the price by two francs. Once he has done this, you can see that the chat reacts by giving him an answer, an answer yeah. that he did correctly and he can send a message to the chatbot just to be polite, you know, with machines. <laughs> it's important. It's really like yeah. a company, yeah? Exactly. So this example is one of the 10 business cases from our new game. In fact, it's uh, level two of solo game. Yeah, it's level two. So if we go back to our line of games, um, we will just explain what different games we have and how the progression goes mm -hmm. and where do these business cases fit. So the first game is called the Mano game because it's a manual business game. What we want in this game is that the, the students, before using any business mm -hmm. app, can really understand a simple business process. So what are the inputs, the outputs and the transformation in the process? and what are the informations needed for the process. 
So for this, they will use only physical objects, and we have game kits oh, cool. that we use for that. And in the game kit, they will have coffee beans, empty capsules, uh, different accounting documents or internal documents. And so they have to put the coffee beans in the small capsules and then sell the capsules on the market. What's interesting also in this game is that they play without a computer. So they have to okay. do everything by hand and keep track of which are the production um, lots they have made, to what is the, the cost of goods sold that they sell to their customers. And they do all this with pen and paper. Okay. And that's the, the Mano game. That's the Mano game. Okay. They play in teams and at the end of the game, the team with the most profit and with the correct balance sheet wins. Okay, cool. So now we can build on this basic understanding of the business process and the information need. So we move to a business app and we work on the master data which is needed to run their business in Odoo. We call this game the solo game because it's an individual game on the computer. We can see a small example. So this is our second game. And in this version of the game, it's really setting up the different information mm -hmm. that you need to run the process. So the players are guided in setting up Odoo to support the Rosteria business process. They have to create their suppliers, their final product, their raw materials, the bill of materials, and everything they do is checked automation, automatically by the simulation engine, and they receive feedback if they make uh, mistakes or if they have to change something along the game. So master data is in fact the level one yeah, of the solo game. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And finally, when they have a good understanding of the business process, when they know how to use Odoo and they understand what are the different objects manipulated in the process, we have the Largo game. This game is played in teams everyone on a computer and mm -hmm. everyone has a different role in the game. So this is a competition where the teams have to make very good business decisions and use Odoo effectively under serious time pressure to make the most profit. And here the players have to use Odoo and one day in the real life of the company is only one minute in the game. Oh, it's challenging. Eh? It's really challenging. They have a lot of pressure. So they have to make sure that they are very um, good in the team to know what is everybody's role and they have to create their own reports yeah. to make sure that they know um, if they are fulfilling the market demand correctly or if their operations are really performing well. Yeah, I understand. Cool. Okay, so the business cases really brings something new and complementary. The players are immersed in a virtual company and have to carry out everyday tasks such as checking price, fixing orders, and so on. They can learn how to use Odoo at their own pace while carrying out typical business tasks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So we can see how this game supports immersive learning. The first thing is that the gaming engine is context aware. Mm -hmm. So it knows the business process and it can identify where the participant is in relation to the activities of the process. Based on this, the game can point the player in the right direction and assist him in doing this job. Mm -hmm. In this video, we can see that the player asks for help and he receives information from the chatbot and also some contextual clues in the Odoo interface that can help him to perform his tasks. So here he's creating a new product, uh, which is um, yeah. Yeah, raw materials yeah. for the game. Okay, cool. You know, another key aspect uh, of the game is process automation. The game engine performs automated actions in the background so that the game scenario progress as if other people were working in the company. For instance, here 
we can see that the player has to plan a manufacturing order. So he sees the manufacturing order, he has information of, on the chatter what to do, he has help also uh, uh, of the tool, and now he will plan the manufacturing order. When this is done, the simulator accelerates the process and produce all the coffee capsules automatically. So it's really a mix between help, between information, action, manual actions, and automation. Exactly, yeah. All of this uh, takes place in parallel to provide an immersive and engaging learning experience for the user. You know, at the moment, the business case are available only in French, but uh, the English version is really on the way. And also today, we have 10 different scenarios of business case in the game. You can see here, uh, we have three uh, different uh, task messages coming from the customer, from colleagues of marketing, sales, and we have to do some different things. Here I'm going in the accounting, I have to reconcile an actions, but before I should update a price or I should validate something, Everything is automatized in parallel, like, in fact, in the real company. Yeah. yeah. So we really encourage you to go on our site play.arula.com yeah. and try the games for yourself. You will be able to try all the business case we have and you can just go on play.arula.com and see for yourself what is interesting with these games. So play .ahula.com. That's amazing. Let's talk about our roadmap because what we created for the games can bring more value to other users. You know, our main goal is to help people to learn Odoo as well as the company internal processes. It could be a virtual company like we showed in the video or a real company. We are working on an integrated assistant for Odoo that can help people perform tasks correctly according to the company processes and the automation possibility provided by our system can be used for automated testing of an Odoo implementation, for example. This is possible because if you have an automation agent like we have that know the business process and that is able to automate actions in Odoo, we can automatically follow the processes from the beginning to the end and check at the each level, each step, if the results are correct or not. Yes, exactly. And these products are part of a business model which has an open source uh, part. So the open source part is the simulation framework. This is because we want other people to be able to create their own games, mm. uh, to create new learning scenarios, to use the, the games in another setting. And we have the line of Arula games, mm -hmm. which are our commercial offering. And these include the teaching material, the learning scenario, and all that is required to use the game in a training setting. So, what we see is that we have serious business games um, for business education and ERP training. So, that's our vision. Yeah. Um, now, we have a new product that is this business case for the solo game. So it's level two for the solo game. Level two. Now we have Mano, solo level one, solo level two, and Largo game. And um, we are available to give lectures and training using the games. Um, and we can also provide training for instructor. Let's say if you want to use the game in your own classroom or in your own company. We are also able to develop custom game scenarios, for instance, based on your company's needs or for different uh, teaching disciplines uh, for the games. And you know what? 
I really look forward to see what level three will yeah, be in sure. the future. <laughs> Me too. So we would like to thank you for your attention and we are looking forward to answering your question and uh, chat with you during the next session. If you want to learn more about our products, if you have questions or if you want to try the games for your company, you can visit our website arula.com or you can just drop us an email at hello at arula.com. And you can try the game at play.arula.com. Thank you, Luc. Thanks. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Thank you, Luke and Elise, for your um, presentation. Um, we will now start uh, going through the questions of our viewers. Dear viewers, please continue posting questions in the chatter as we speak. We will address them uh, along the way. Should we not have time to cover all of your questions in this Q&A session, there will be a link posted for an extended Q&A where uh, Luke and Elise will uh, address your questions in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Now. Um, Let's address some of the questions. The first one um, would be, what inspired you to use the name of Arula for this game? It is your turn. Okay. Um, basically, our inspiration was that, you know, coming from Switzerland, we have all these mountains. Mm -hmm. And uh, Camp, Camp to Camp was already in doing stuff with mountains. And uh, their name is actually linked to the mountains. So we thought uh, we should we should find a mountain which has a cool name, and as in Odu there are the two O's, we could we wanted to find a mountain and put the two O's in it. So we found the peak d'Arola in French, and we changed we doubled the O's and it makes for Arula. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's a it's a wink to Odu and to camp to camp. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, another question we have is, which user groups are considered within this game, such as procurement, sales, marketing? Which, which disciplines or which uh, business function does it cover? Yeah, good question. In fact, this, uh, this game can cover all the processes of the companies. Uh, the objective is really to, to be able to train everything. Uh, we have different kind of um, already done uh, scenarios uh, like uh, Rosteria, which is a company uh, on the coffee market. And uh, here we are training the sales, the purchase, the manufacturing, and the accounting. So we could say everything which is inside the Odoo, we can train it. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a question coming in from our viewer Alejandro Ruiz de Chavez. Um, is the assisted training within Odoo? I, I do believe what is probably meant is whether we can just download it from our Odoo instance or how exactly can I, can I access it? Mm -hmm. It is so actually, um, it, it, is, it is within Odoo. So we have, what we have is a, it's a special, uh, a special app, a special module, mm -hmm. uh, which contains all the simulation engine Mm -hmm. and uh, which contains also all the data for the scenario. So uh, it's really inside Odoo. Everything is inside Odoo. It's, it's our module that automates all the different elements also on the, in, the, in the user interface uh, regarding the, the data in the background. Uh, the module is also uh, executing actions in other applications. So it's really a kind of a meta module that is controlling all of Odoo to, to make the training. Okay. And uh, what I can perhaps add is that it is not only uh, um, an app you can just uh, use it. Uh, it's also a, an app where you can custom your own uh, scenario uh, if you want to uh, for a classroom or for a new company or something like that. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much. There's a small follow-up question from the same person here. Is it integrated with the e-learning module? Uh, it's, not, it's not integrated with this module um, because I think the e-learning module is really about managing, uh, managing classes. Mm -hmm. And so um, actually we use different systems. Every, I mean, every institution, every university has its own system to manage the classes for the student. 
And so our goal is really to use um, Odoo to, to train people using Odoo to manage a business. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we don't, we don't use the e-learning module in our system. Okay. Uh, what, what we can also add is it's really a sales game. Huh? It's, it's not, yeah, as uh, mentioned, um, uh, Ulysse, it's not a tool to manage classroom, but uh, we could perhaps in parallel, if uh, some teachers would like, they can have in parallel the uh, Arula modules and the uh, e-learning modules to add video or to like uh, uh, to, to add learning uh, learn, learning courses or, or something else. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, another viewer, Yei Nomi Mel, is asking how have you guys integrated process flows to match what the user is doing? <laughs> it's probably not a quick answer. But that's our that, that's our secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Actually, we, we have uh, modeled the steps of our business process in our module. And then we, uh, based on the location on the, of the user and the previous steps he performed, we deduce where he is inside our process. Okay. And uh, um, if it's not already done, uh, just go to play.arula.com. Uh, you will be able to, to really uh, play the game. And honestly, it's awesome. You can really, uh, you have questions for, from your colleagues and you just do, do the job. And as soon as you have did it, uh, then you have the answer. It's really like in the real world. It's, it's, it's really fun. Okay. So I hope you heard that. Yay, no me well. Um, we have another question from Martinez. Martinus, I'm sorry. When do you think Odoo will be registered in Magic Quadrant? That's for Luke. <laughs> what is, honestly, I don't know <laughs> what Magic Quadrant is. I'm only, myself not only, entirely Odoo, clear. Odoo, Odoo in general is magic, so I'm <laughs> quite sure it will be in uh, magic uh, quadrants quite soon. I think but that's is the it, best is possible it the answer. Gartner, the Gartner, uh, the Gartner stuff? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, I, really, yeah. I think you, you, you're perhaps right. But Something honestly, like Gartner I don't know. With, with the ranking of all the solutions and stuff. Yeah. Well, magic, have... quadrant, magic quadrant research methodology. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. But I, I, I think it's more a question for, for Odoo uh, uh, and for Fabien Pankers himself, but uh, I cannot uh, answer this question. Okay, we will uh, address this question in a different context then. Um, yeah. I have a question here about the, the, customize, the customization possibilities in Arula. Can the business process be customized or modified? You have spoken a bit about that already, perhaps you can um, reiterate it a little. So the, the business cases we have now are uh, predetermined. So they are, they are, for the moment, they are fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, we can customize the, the process, but for the moment there is no really, there is not an editor for the, for the business process, for the business case. So at this point, uh, the customization has to come from us, actually. Mm -hmm. So we can customize the scenarios, but for the moment, it's not really it's not really possible. And we have to see if it's really interesting for the um, for the users to have a tool to customize the process. Because one aspect is that the, um, the um, actually it really depends on what are your learning objectives. Mm -hmm. And so we have specific learning objectives that we covered in our scenarios and uh, yeah, to customize the scenario requires defining a new set of learning objectives and then defining all the, all the tasks in the process, all the, the, the messages from the chatbots and all the reactions and all the verification of the process. So it's, it's possible, but it's, it's not, for the moment, it's not really um, possible from the, from the final user point of view. Okay. But uh, just to add something, um, Uli said for the moment, uh, he said that because we planned uh, in the following uh, months uh, to uh, add this feature inside this module and mm -hmm. to add 
um, like WYSIWYG or yes or customization easy for the easily for the for the users. So it's on the roadmap of the tool, but you're right. Actually, it's a little bit uh, more complex. Okay, but thank you for uh, addressing a little bit the roadmap um, of the of the tool. Um, Alejandro Ruiz de Chavez wants to further dig into the specifics of how exactly you, you made uh, Arula work. We have one minute left, so I will still address this question. Um, mm -hmm. If there's more questions coming in, remember we have an extended Q&A session where Ulysse and Luke will be happy to address remaining questions in a separate session. So the question would be, I guess this meta module should be installed in an independent instance of Odoo in order to avoid the production environment. So you're right. Uh, uh, it's depending, in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, if you use that only for training, you're right, you can have a separate, uh, separate uh, database. But our goal in the future is uh, to really use this tool as a training uh, for, th for the daily business. So okay. our goal is really to, 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 to use it also on productive instance and not only to learn how to use the tool, but also to learn how to make the job. Okay. And that's really interesting. But we can discuss that on the extended uh, Q&A session. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, both of you. Um, unfortunately, we have to stop here for time reasons. Um, dear viewers, if there's still any remaining questions, please go to the link that's been posted here in the chatter to meet uh, Luc and Ulysse for further questions on the ruler tool. Thank you so much, both of you Thank and you. all of your viewers to join us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Don't, bye bye. don't forget to go to play.arula.com. For sure. Of course. <laughs>